but it's all about them right and then this one right she's you know she says you know she says she wants money every two weeks she contacts him asking for money what is she expecting right again it's just like the girl in bed you know she the guy's giving her money he's working for her but she puts it down she takes advantage of it right while she's in the bed he paid for in the house he's fucking paying rent on or owning right the mortgage what is going on it's it need we need to understand this no man is safe with his woman you cannot guarantee you cannot turn a whore into a housewife and a lot of discussion has been used just along that terminology a whore cannot be a housewife when she is looking for money and looking to advance herself economically socially both you will never be able to control or own or possess a good relationship. Uh, the example of the girl in the video, she found a bigger, more masculine guy when compared to the video making guy. She was getting the, the things she needed. I'm sure, being a woman, she chose the man she wanted to sleep with. right? And she did so looking for something. Looking for more money, more attention. Because that was her complaint, you're always making videos. Well, that's his fucking job, lady, right? If you're not satisfying him, how can you expect him to give a fuck about you? That's another story. Okay, but then the, the my friend in the service here. He had a similar issue. He's giving all he can, doing all he can. And she wants more. And even after she leaves, right, she probably found a guy that didn't provide what she's looking for. And she's looking back. It is horrifying to see this effect because women are, these women are heartless creatures. The one is married to a man and while fucking another guy, she rolls off of his dick and then starts insulting her husband's cock in front of the new guy because she doesn't want to say, oh, I'm sorry, honey, I didn't mean to be fucking this guy. I just got in bed and his cock went in me. No, she attacks him, which signifies she's done with him and she wants the guy in bed. She's moved on. She's emotionally moved on. She's sexually moved on. But she's already, but up till this point, till the time she got caught, she was taking her husband's money. She's satisfied with her husband's income, what he's giving, while she's looking for more. It's horrifying. So, uh, my brother in the service here with his letter. His wife was fucking guys for two years looking for something better. And if all she was doing was fucking E5s and E4s and other E6s, I don't know if these are other military guys she's fucking, most likely, but you never know, right? You just never know. She's, she's looking for more. She's a whore looking for more. And by asking him for money, Right. Asking him for money, she's showing that she's still a whore. She's coming back to him for money. Right. You can't turn a whore into a housewife. Now, even, you know, she's, she tried getting pregnant. Didn't work, thankfully, right? Thankfully, it didn't work. But all that means to her is more money. Even whores have the desire to have children. Even whores have the desire to have a family and be married. They're not... They're not, they're not that dead inside. But where the disconnect happens is between the heart and the head. Right? They have feelings for a family and children, but their head makes them do stupid things because it's emotionally driven. They want more money. They want more social status. Right? They want a lot of cock because they're whores and they're hunting for that money. They're hunting for something that they can't get they're not satisfied. There's so many problems with women, right? This damage that occurs when feminism takes root and makes them the center of everything. It is, to me, a terribly horrifying situation. To read these letters that you guys send me, 
and people that do Patreon, they have a little more access to send me uh, uh, private messages about their stories. And some want them read and don't mind them read. Others don't want. A lot of people uh, donate money and they just want to be as anonymous as hell. They never contact me. That's fine too. But a lot of guys say, you've got to read this, man, or at least consider it. Use the story. Use the information. But they want it out there because they know how much they have love in their hearts and how women these women they've run into either married or just girlfriends are cold they're full of hatred and at the very least at the very least they just have nothing in them they are they are empty vessels they have no love or compassion they just want and so they destroy men destroy them utterly no conscious, right? This, this, I guess I was selfish. A little bit of honesty. My ex-wife said to me, well, I had an escape plan. I've always had one. Are you fucking kidding me? Right? 23 years in, you had an escape plan. I gave you everything. The fucking ranch, the horse ranch, the barns, the fences, the horses, the fucking mansion. Right? The family, myself, give everything. And you have an escape plan from that? A fucking escape plan? To get away from everything you wanted? It's not really an escape plan. It's more like a destruction plan. Or a selfish, I'm going to get all I can plan. So that's the difference, right? That's what happens. You cannot make a whore into a housewife. You can't do it. You can't do it. Anyways... You know, I read that and I'm inspired that men are getting away from these whores. It inspires me. And I know I did the right thing by getting away from these whores. Right. You guys do the same. Get away from them. MGTOW. Men going their own way. You don't have to put up with this shit anymore. Right. You can do whatever you want. You can stay with them if you want and give them all your money. You can pump them and dump them. Whatever the fuck you want. But by golly, don't fucking buy the story, right? Somehow you've got to figure out and know for sure. If you're going to be in a relationship with one of these things, that you can't trust them. Because the moment you give them power, the moment they have power over the purse, or your money, the power over you as a being, they will abuse and then punish you for it. The same way that woman abused that guy by taking all of his money. And then punishing him verbally while she's fucking another guy. Right. The same way my brother here was, was lied to while she fucked other guys and took all his money. Abuse. Right. It's abuse. And then, you know, basically punishing him, showing him, and I get this a lot, spending years with somebody as a man and trying to build them the same way men build houses and bridges and cities we try and build a relationship and you're building it with a thief you're building a relationship with someone who's embezzling funds who has no intention of finishing the product project and they just walk away if you've ever seen a building that doesn't get completed or finished I look at that and I go that's a crying shame because someone went through all the planning they went through from the foundation and started building their way up, and then they ran out of money or someone ran out on the project. That is precisely what marriage is like today with one of these gold-digging whores. Men put all that time in building it, and the women just walk away. Right? They steal all the money they can, embezzle, and then say, well, I was just selfish. Right? I, I didn't think this was going to work. I was just playing a fucking game absolutely reprehensible <laughs> to do the bill birthing reprehensible right it is it is reprehensible because these women are reprobates they are scum for doing this sort of shit okay enough of my fucking rant you guys have a great day please hit subscribe hit the the little bell next to it so you get alerts share these videos share these videos with everybody you can Men, old men, middle-aged men, married men, single men, 
especially men who are about to get married, they need to get their fucking head on straight and look at what's going on. Right? They need to put their fucking property in trust if they have any. And they need to protect themselves. Protect themselves from these women who look at men as a bank account and a retirement while they go out and get other guys' dicks. Because they're whores. Whores. All right, guys. Semper Fi. I have the penis. You're the man. MGTOW is freedom. Rock on.